Hey, this is Rod with ET Motor Gear. We're here at Cruising the Coast, and you're watching Hot Rod Madness. Hot Rod Madness, where every car has a story. If you love rat rods, street rods, American classic muscle, even the unusual, including those ground pounding, tire smoking street machines, we got them. Fire them up. Hot Rod Madness style with your host, Tim the Milkman, along with the Hot Rod Madness crew. Welcome to Hot Rod Madness. Let's travel to Mississippi's Gulf Coast and join the fun at America's largest block party. It's cruising the coast. Hey, welcome back to Hot Rod Madness. This week, it's Ocean Springs, Mississippi, cruising the coast. Ronnie, how are you, sir? Doing well. All right. Good to see you. Doing well out here in Ocean Springs, Mississippi. Mm -hmm. Man, we're right here in the streets with Ronnie looking at a Killer little old uh, Chevy Love, I'm gonna call it. But 72 Chevy Love. Yeah, to me it looks like you got a lot going on here, man. Not much left of the love. Uh, yeah, a few details. Uh, a Hemi motor. 57 Chrysler Hemi. Okay. 67 Tornado Transaxle. Yeah. 86 Corvette brakes and a highly modified suspension. Custom wow. built two before box tube and frame. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, did you have to modify the uh, the transaxle at all, or is that full length Tornado stuff? The half shafts are custom built. One of them is about okay. eight inches long, the other one's about 15 uh, inches long. You actually had to shorten the axles built up a em. bit, right? Built, built them. them. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And and on that, you do the uh, torque thrust wheels, mm -hmm. paint it yellow. On the front, 17's on the rear, Corvette yellow. Wow, what a blast, man. That mm -hmm. thing's fun to drive, ain't it? Oh, you get a lot of tension. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> right here at Cruising the Coast with Ronnie and his Chevy Love. Now, I'm, I'm looking at this thing, the body going, there ain't much love left there. There's a lot of extra stuff you done to it, man. You cut the top off of it. The, I'm mm -hmm. guessing the frame is made out of? Two before box tubing, okay. rectangle tubing. Yes, sir. The grill is the only unmodified piece on the truck. Okay. You louvered the hood. Mm -hmm. And that's just trunk space up front now, right? Lawn chairs and uh, ice chest. I was looking for wheelie bars under it, you know, but I don't see any. I don't guess you uh, get that crazy with it, right? Don't have to get too hard on the right pedal. I'll bet. <laughs> <laughs> I'll bet. With all, with all the weight back here, man. 3,200 pounds and 2,300 pounds on the rear wheels. All right, sir. Mm -hmm. Nice build. Now, how long did it take you to build something like this, man? This was built the first time 40 years ago by my brother and I and okay. took taking it apart about 30 years ago and put it back together mm -hmm. three years ago and took five months to assemble it the second time. Wow. A lot of hard work, several man. good friends. Yes, sir and many many hours and a lot of money oh yeah lots of man hours man 30 years you you know that, that i carried the piece around for 30 years moved three or four times I yeah keep, our friends kept telling me you're gonna put it back together someday and so yeah one of these days yeah one of these days mm -hmm. cool all right you got your rear view mirrors molded into the side Those of it are mustang 70 era mustang molded okay. in the mirrors mm -hmm. 59 impala dash and, yeah and the dash and the gauges that's uh is are those original style gauges what no you got those are there? digital covered digital gauges okay. mm-hmm 59 Impala stuff. Man, you had to chop a dash. You know, that thing is, is a real wide, you know. From took the, about six <laughs> inches out of the middle, some off the side. Yeah. The seats out of Tornado took six inches out of the middle of it. Okay. Everything had to be cut down. Yeah. Nothing untouched on it. All a lot right. of work. A lot no, of work. No hood. Got to garage it. You run it in the rain, too? I have. Yeah. You get home in a hurry. Yep. <laughs> I'll bet. How y'all doing? Doing fine. All right. How you doing, sir? What year is that Camaro? <laughs> 1969. All right. 69 Camaro. Got the 302 stamped right there on the hood. It's a Z. Bob, how are you, sir? I'm good. I'm All right. Thanks for you. playing Hot Rod Madness today, Bob. Happy to do it. Where are you from, sir? Memphis, Tennessee. Memphis, Tennessee. Yes, and you, sir. And you brought a really trick ambulance with you today, man. What year is that? It's a 1941 Ford ambulance yeah. built by the Siebert Company out of okay. Toledo, Ohio. Wow, you don't see them every day. No, sir. I, I mean, I, you see a lot of 40 Ford stuff and 41 stuff, but you don't see an ambulance like this. No, sir. I, there's one other one I saw in Indiana when I was on the power tour. Wow. And uh, the other Amazing. one I think is in a museum, but I, I think it's one of one here anyway. Okay. I'm, I'm looking at it going, man, how do you, wow, how long does it take to rebuild a body like that? I mean, that thing's huge. <laughs> well, it was built by a guy named Randall Tate in M. Bowden, Arkansas. Okay. It, I found it in a barn in Cape Girardeau, Missouri, and took yeah. it straight to him. And actually, it made its debut here in uh, 
cruising the coast in 2004, the year for Katrina. Okay. So I've had it down here three or four times. Yeah, right. and, and that body has not been lengthened or chopped on. That's original uh, length, right? Yeah, Seabird did it. They, they stretched the car by the width of the middle doors. Yeah. And they stretched it, and uh, we reinforced it uh, when we built it. And it's got a uh, uh, Corvette, an LT1. Uh, engine transmission. Oh boy, yeah. yeah. But there was a lot of mods to it, but uh, I mean, it didn't have air and it didn't have power yeah. windows and all right. that stuff. But, of course. But Randall did a great job on it. Oh man, N no better power plant to <laughs> stick a Corvette motor in it, right? <laughs> How many drive shafts you got in this thing? It, it's got, it's, 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 there's two. <laughs> two drive shafts. Yeah, there's, there's a, okay. uh, and I had, I had to. There's, it, I don't know how long it is. We ought to step it off. Yeah, gotcha. Uh, okay. All right, and the frame, is that original Ri stuff? Original frame, we, to reinforce it, he took it, and Randall took it to a guy in Arkansas that built uh, sprint cars. Okay. So there's a tubular subframe mm -hmm. with uh, X's and uh, cross members, uh, so it, but it, it doesn't flex it. It's, it's a really nice cruiser. Okay. So they did a nice job on it. Cool. As a matter of fact, he was more proud of that yeah. than, the, than the, the top side. It, it, was, you kept the bubble light on top working? Well, the bubble light is not period correct. That's the 50s. Okay. Uh, and the, but it, gotcha. yeah, it works, and the siren works. It looks good on there. It's, it's a full, it's full <laughs> service emergency vehicle, sir. I mean, yeah, <laughs> if, if you wouldn't know the difference, just like me, I'd say that was original equipment, you know, for the folks, ambulance. Yeah, yeah. But, it, but it's it's not if you're okay. Well, let's purist. take a little closer look at the engine sure, right quick. Be. All right, cool. Lots of polished parts, of course. Full custom build here, buddy. And the transmission is that Corvette stuff as well? Yes, it's a. Uh, uh, 460 LA. Okay. The powertrain came out of a 95 Corvette. Yeah, yeah. All right. And all the chrome stuff came from Street Performance at Mena, Arkansas. Man, you know that thing runs great. It does. Oh, it yeah. does. It's a nice ride. Nice cruiser. Yes, sir. Got all the billet aluminum polished stuff under there, the radiator. Favorite colors chrome. You betcha. <laughs> all right. Is it lots of fun polishing it all up, sir? Yeah, well, it's like polishing a barge yep, yeah, yep. yeah but it takes some time but it's it's a lot of fun it gets a lot of looks because well, it's sure. it's just different and uh, yep. that's, that's different. what attract that's what attracted me to it and that's why i like it dare to be different sir <laughs> street side classics the nation's top consignment dealer of classic and collectible cars we have over 1200 cars in stock across the nation with six massive indoor showrooms located in atlanta charlotte dallas fort worth tampa nashville and phoenix we make the process simple for you with no upfront cost or monthly fees. Classic car financing is available. Find your dream ride today at StreetsideClassics.com. That's StreetsideClassics.com. Hey, it's the Milkman with Hot Rod Madness. I'm standing out front of Slap Ya Mama's Barbecue, one of our sponsors on our CV show. I'm standing here with Tina. Tina, give us an idea of where are we at here? 1830 Beach Boulevard, Bluxy. Okay, right here on the Gulf Coast at Slap Your Mamas. Man, I just went in there and had a big old plate of barbecue. That stuff is great. How you doing, sir? Doing good, All doing right, good, man. doing fine today, doing fine. Talking with Barry here at the Cruise in the Coast event. Barry, what year is your Cadillac, man? 1960. 60 Cadillac. I was looking at some really custom mods that have been done to this car, man. That thing's sweet, buddy. Thank you. Thank I mean, it's just the sun is making the paint pop like crazy on this thing. Yeah, it's a custom mix. I worked on that color about nine months before I got it right. Really? I put the gun down and said, that's the color for this car. It, yeah. it is a different type of red, isn't it? Oh, yeah. What you call it, man? You got a name for I it? I call it Wet Ruby. Wet Ruby, all right. <laughs> cool name for the car that's overall, right. right? Yeah. Love, yeah. love them old side pipes you uh -huh. got busting out the side there. You got the electric antennas popping back there. The old fins on the back of it is Cadillac American styling, my friend. That is That's cool. It. That's it. Even pushing flamethrowers out the back. Oh, cool. All right. <laughs> we can see that on the strip out here tonight later on, right? Maybe so. Where are you from, man? Well, Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, yeah. my friend, you guys know how to build Cadillacs over there. Well, I'm Woo. a Cadillac guy, man. Nice. That's, that's Very sweet. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful man. build. Love it. Good. You still running the uh, original power plant? What you got? Original 390 motor with really? the hydromatic uh, transmission. Yep. That's different. And I've never put this car on a trailer. I drive it. I He's drove it two and a half hours to get here. Yeah. And he, you see how low it sits? That's the ride height. 
Oh, there's, not there's a, no bags or no nothing? No bags or anything. I drive it just like that. He's the real deal, my friends. <laughs> that's that's super sweet, man. Good. Beautiful Good. ride. Man, I appreciate you showing it okay. on Hot Rod Madness today, sir. Good. How you doing, JJ? Yes, sir, just fine, sir. All right, man. Yes, sir. Out here cruising the coast with oh. Mr. JJ, you got a really cool ride here. What is this I've, thing, man? It's a 63 Rambler American. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, it's a two door, and two you got door. it all doodadded up with this. Hardtop, yeah. yeah, this stuff is cool, man. Yeah. yeah. That yeah. thing's gorgeous. It it's, looks brand new. Well, I spent four years on it. I gave up four years of fishing. Okay. Yeah, and uh, but it's a lot of work. But it was. Uh, just, just, just seeing the smile on people's faces. Oh, sure. Oh, it makes it all. I man. smiled when I gave well, up and looked at it. Yeah. Everybody does. Yeah, yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. You gave up fishing trips to do this. Four years of it. Four years of it. People ask me if I'm going to do another. I said, oh, no, yeah. no. I said, I gave up four years of fishing, you know, yeah. and I love the fish. <laughs> Yep, so, but, but you love the ride too, right? Yes, yes, sir. That thing is beautiful, and I'd imagine this is factory colors. It is. Factory it is. engine and all in Original. It. I built the engine. I, I'm a okay. mechanic yeah. of, of not 53 years. Okay. I just built the engine. Yes, sir. Okay. I did everything on it except the paint and the interior, you know. Where are you from? Lafayette, Louisiana. Okay. Yes, sir. All right, man. Yeah. Beautiful ride, the, the original <laughs> six in it. Found the um, original article in an old look magazine. Oh, really? Yes, sir. Sweet. Let's take a look yeah, at it. Yeah, yeah. Let's check it out. Yeah. He's got the original article here for the car. Found that in, uh, in Alabama okay. at an antique shop. Car of the year. Car of the year. Go for fun, <laughs> save a bundle. Well, that was the slogan they used, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Economy yeah. vehicle, I guess, yeah, back yeah, in the day. It was. It, yes, sir. Now, is this automatic or is that straight shift? Automatic. Uh, All right, that's a plus, really. Yes, sir. Normally, they are, they are standard uh -huh. and no air. Because, I mean, the, the, uh, this was known to be a poor man's car. Okay. My own, my own mom and dad on, on one, and it was a standard and no air. Maybe back then it was a poor man's car. However, nowadays and times, yeah, man, nice you can't find nice these, no, man. No, this, no, no. this thing no, no, is no. sweet. There's not another around. No, I don't think no, so. No. Not like this. No. That thing's like a brand no. new one, man. Well. Hi, I'm John Dolan, and you're watching Hot Rod Madness. Kirk, how are you, sir? Just fine, sir. All right, man. Cruising the coast with Kirk. How about this Pantera here? GIS? Yes, it is. It's a GT5. Okay. 1974 Pantera. Okay, that's not a GIS. That's a GT5 Five. Yes. underneath the Pantera badge. Absolutely. Thanks for explaining that, man. I'm not familiar with the Panteras. Probably the, uh, uh, the most familiar I am. I, I did one a while back, and then I saw the movie Rocky. And then, <laughs> they had one in Rocky. Yeah, they did. What year is yours, sir? This is a 1974. Okay. It was built in 1973, but sold in 74 at Lincoln Mercury dealers. Cool. And right. uh, they brought about 5,000 of them into this country. Yes, sir. Uh, built about 20,000 total, to my knowledge. Uh, most of them are overseas still. Uh, the car was 10,500 when it was new. Wow. And uh, yeah, it's uh, yeah. this one has been modified with the European. Uh, brought up to the European specs of 1985, okay. which uh, put a set wider set of tires on it, some uh, flares, the wing in the back, uh, steering yeah. suspension, new tires, okay. uh, interior changes, a uh, few electrical changes too. Mm -hmm. uh, the car is powered by a 351 Ford Cleveland engine, okay. the same thing that went in the Mustangs. Yes, sir. Uh, it was designed by a, a consortium led by Lee Iacocca mm -hmm. and a design team from Ford plus a uh, Gia Motor co Coach Works over in Europe. Uh, they were designing Lamborghinis and other uh, European cars mm -hmm. at the time. And uh, it was built by a gentleman by the name of Roberto Di Tomasa in uh, Italy. Okay. The car was designed off of the GT40. Uh, okay. This is a street legal version of it uh, with the impact resistant bumpers and all of the safety features that were required in the 70s to, to uh, ride on the street here. Mm -hmm. The uh, the cars uh, had a 350 horsepower GT th uh, 351 Cleveland in it. Okay. And now this engine is pushing 525 uh, horsepower nice. dynode uh, nice. with a ZF transaxle. Okay. Uh, four wheel disc brakes, independent suspension. Man, this is great. I don't have to ask him any questions. <laughs> this guy's good. <laughs> he he done answered all my questions. <laughs> 
Keep going, Kurt. You're well, doing great, dude. <laughs> the car was actually designed by Lee Iacocca to run against Carvettes because they didn't have a two-seater sports car. Man, I can see Ford. the uh, yeah, I can see the European styling in it. The the wing, Lamborghini oh, looking, the, the fender flares. Matter of fact, all that cool stuff. The same guy who worked yeah. on this team to design this helped design the Countach, and a lot of the parts are here, like the tail lights, the yeah. wings. They all came off of the Countach, wow. or were came off of this car to the Countach. And uh, you can look at it and tell. Oh yeah, yeah, that uh, so. fantastic build man the stuff like that they detail and all they put into it it don't look like your average pantera no nope. yeah but the engine is still in the back isn't it yes it is man absolutely hit Where that else button let's it? let's see it man all right hit that button let's see it wow such a cool car man well balanced oh mid, yes mid-engine what uh, is that what it's considered yes it is mid-engine car because the engine is really in front of the transaxle yes the, the real t rear tires are midway of the transaxle mm -hmm. engine and driver's compartment forward of it it's very well balanced. Uh, unregrettably, not as good as a new Corvette, but uh, yeah, yeah. it's for its time, it was a very uh, futuristic car. Why, well, sure, back in 74, this mm -hmm. was the thing, man. Oh, this kind of styling and, and technology was big mm -hmm. back then, man. That's true, Love absolutely. That stuff. And a beautiful black, man. Well, it, it is black, a little mm -hmm. hard to keep clean, but it is a beautiful car. How loud is it, that thing sitting right behind your head, man, while you're driving it? When you're at idle at a, at a red light, uh -huh. you hear it. Uh, but when you're getting on the highway, cruising down the road about uh -huh. 40 miles an hour, it's yeah. not bad at all. Okay. No worse than any other car. All right, that's cool. The, uh, yeah, it's, nice. you know, it's a lot of fun. Uh, <laughs> You catch the eye of everybody yeah. and go on the road. You know, road. Kurt here has a blast with this thing, man. Oh, You're absolutely. cruising up in one of these, man. I, and I drive this every weekend. Yeah, yeah. I take it to church just to irritate the little sure. old ladies at church, sure. and I have a, I just have a good time with it. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm surprised that the little old ladies don't want to go for a ride with you, man. Some of them do. <laughs> Let's look at the interior before right. I go, man, because uh, I was looking at some pretty cool-looking leather-type interior in this thing. And, uh, yeah, look at this. Sweet. Sweet build, man. Look at this. Yeah, I'd imagine all that's uh, pretty much original interior, right? Uh, no, the interior was upgraded in uh, 85 to meet the specs, which okay. put different, basically different seats, a little bit nicer um, door panels. Yeah. Um, okay. But basically, it's still the same car that was in the, uh, the early 70s. Uh -huh. And the style of wheels, man, are those original? Yes, these are original yeah. compo wheels. Okay. Uh, of course, they were upgraded to the European specs. So, uh, but the still manufacturer's compo on them. Okay. Uh, they're they, 17s in the back, 15s in the front. Yeah, they look so aftermarket-ish, you know? Right. And I'm, you know, it's, it's it's one of those things to where it, it catches your eye right mm -hmm. off the bat. They're wider, you know. Oh, they're much, they're about twice as wide as the original tires that came sure, on the car. Yeah. But uh, with the changes that they made in the suspension and, and adding stabilizer bars to it and everything, yeah. it was needed to meet the European specs for over there because of, Autobahn must be a wonderful place. One of these days oh, I'll be able yeah. to get over there. There you go. <laughs> Beautiful car, man. Oh, check this out, Dollar Bill. Twin sixes on this rat rod, man. I don't think I've quite seen anything like this. Belt driven, twin sixes. It's got a, uh, looks like an automatic Chevrolet transmission behind both sixes. Belt driven, ain't that something? What's your name, sir? I'm Dave Robinson and I've been looking at this and I've figured out it took a genius to make all this work. Well, I'll tell you what, it looks like somebody hacked up a tractor and went at it, right? <laughs> exactly, wow, but amazing. it looks good. I'd love to see it cranked up to see oh, how sure. it works. Yeah. yeah, if we could find the owner, we'd get him to fire it up and listen yeah. to what two six cylinders exactly. sound like. That's right, that's yeah. 12 cylinder uh, yeah, engine, yeah. That's cool, huh? Yeah. Uh, I don't. Yeah, well, <laughs> he, he wants to hotwire it. <laughs> well, I'd like to say you do that. <laughs> However, it does look like, uh, well, tell you the truth, I don't know what kind of cab that is, but it's for sale, 17.5 or trade. What kind of cab is that? It's an international. It, I'm seeing an international yeah. badge on the front of it, well, so it's, it's got to be. Too. That's a pretty wide cab, or is yeah. it? Yeah. There ain't no telling, man. Somebody yeah. got crazy with their imagination on this dude. Yeah. <laughs> November 8th through 11th in sunny Panama City Beach, Florida. It's the Emerald Coast Cruise Inn. If you love white sand beaches, emerald green waters, and thousands of classic cars and hot rods, come and be part of this week-long celebration of cruise ins, parades, block parties, collector car auctions, concerts, and much, much more. There's even a $10,000 cash giveaway. For the latest on event information, visit EmeraldCoastCruiseIn.com. That's EmeraldCoastCruiseIn.com in beautiful Panama City Beach, Florida. 
About an hour east of Atlanta on the banks of Lake Oconee lies a hidden treasure, the Memory Lane Classic Car Museum in Eatonton, Georgia. This museum was created by automotive enthusiasts for the entire family to enjoy. You'll see an ever-changing collection of over 120 classic cars, hot rods, and motorcycles, so you're guaranteed a unique visit every time. Plan your next event at Memory Lane and be the envy of all your friends. The museum is open Thursday through Saturday, 10 to 6, and Sunday, 12 to 4. See you soon. We promise you won't be disappointed. Randy, how are you, sir? Hey, I'm good. A pink limo man and Brody. Shake my hand, Brody. How are you? And your name is? Blaze. 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 Wow, what a name. Is that his real name? Yeah, that's his <laughs> name. Kid's name is Blaze, man. What a name, right? Dude, you got a pink limo. What year is this? I do. It's 1965 Fleetwood Series 75. That's a lot of cars, sir. It's a lot of cars. 23 feet long. Yeah, 23 foot long. Man, man's got to have a big old garage to park that in, right? Big garage big and got to be uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. up to date with his manhood hey, to drive a pink car. I hear you, buddy. All right. What enticed you to spray it pink? I mean, it well, actually, I bought it about 10 years ago, and it was yeah. uh, pink. I had some body work done to it and couldn't match the color. Okay. So uh, we changed it up a little bit. So I have the paint coat and darkened right. it a little bit and shined it up. Okay. So I guess this is an easy paint coat to remember then. It's an easy paint code yeah. to remember. Yeah. Breast, and it's a car you don't uh, forget. Maybe breast cancer awareness. There you go. Ladies, right. ladies, <laughs> hit him go. up for a ride in the car. <laughs> Why not? You know? right. yeah, you're cruising the coast with the pink Cadillac, man. You got some uh, technology going on, man. I'm looking at a really cool antenna on the back of it. You got the interior set up for uh, whining and dining. You have fun in this thing. It, it's ready to go. It's a lot of fun. It's a car you don't forget. You see it once sure. and you always remember it. Yeah. It's just. You do any parades or weddings or anything in it? Occasionally I do yeah. weddings for friends and family, but uh, I, I, we get a lot of requests, but we just don't do very many. Yep, got you, man. Yeah. All right, dude. Man, thanks for showing your ride here on Hot Rod Madness. Thank you so much, man. You, you guys have it's a, a wonderful blessing day. to be here. All right, sir. We hope that you enjoyed this episode of Hot Rod Madness. We invite you to get the madness by checking out our Hot Rod Madness website at timthemilkman.com or email us with questions or ideas at randomrides53 at gmail.com From all the crew, thanks for watching Hot Rod Madness.